welcome back everyone i hope you are doing well i'm going to show you how i make my citric acid solution to bring down the ph in my products when i make them this is really really easy to make i've gotten several questions about how i make my citric acid solution so i wanted to share with you how i make this so let's jump right in and i'm going to show you how i do this if this is your first time stopping by my name is esther and i make diy natural hair and skincare videos and I have so many other helpful DIY videos so please check those out so citric acid comes in a powder form and I find it much easier to use it in a liquid form so that's why I make the citric acid solution so to do this I'm just going to um, measure out the amount of citric acid that I need all the measurements will be in the description box um, along with where I purchase my ingredients from so this is what the citric acid looks like it comes in this powder um, granules um, so what I'm going to do I'm just going to weigh it out I'm making a 50 percent citric acid solution so equal amounts of citric acid to water So depending on how much um, citric acid solution you want to make, you would just adjust your amount accordingly. I'm making a 100 gram batch. So 50% of 100 grams is 50 grams. So 50 grams of citric acid and also 50 grams of distilled water. So I'm going to weigh out my distilled water next. So now that both the citric acid and distilled water are weighed out, all you need to do now is combine both of them together. But what's important is you need to add the citric acid powder to the water. So that's important. So make sure you add the citric acid powder to the water and not the other way around. So once you add that in, just take your time to mix it well so that everything is well dissolved and combined. So after mixing, your solution might be a little bit cloudy, but after several minutes, everything is going to clear out and um, the powder is going to be dissolved. So don't worry too much about it. Just give it a few minutes and everything will clear up. So after about 10 minutes, I like to give it another mix one more time just to make sure all the citric acid powder is well dissolved. And once I mix it this last time, I'm going to transfer it into my bottle. I use a clear bottle, but if you have a, a dark a colored bottle like an amber bottle um, you want to keep your mixture away from um, direct sunlight so that way it can last longer um, but I'm using a clear bottle that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to package this up next And the citric acid solution is ready it lasts a really long time I usually keep mine for about three months and then I just make a new batch but it can last over a year um, but I don't like to keep it that long um, so I'm just going to show you a quick demo I'm checking the pH and lowering the pH I'm using a solution of uh, desyl glucoside and some water uh, mixed together I'm going to check the pH of this solution using my pH meter this is a really good pH meter this is not sponsored in any way um, the link um, for this pH meter is in my description box so you can check that out so I'm just going to put this in some distilled water so you just rinse it off in distilled water and then check the pH so that's what I'm going to do here mm -hmm. 
The pH of the solution was 10.77. So to lower the pH, you're just going to um, put in a few drops of the citric acid solution. It's really, really strong. So you don't need a whole lot. Um, for this, I put four drops of the citric acid solution. After adding in the citric acid, just mix it in um, very well and then set it aside for one to two minutes before rechecking the pH. And the pH was down to 4.62, so just a few drops of citric acid did a great job of lowering the pH to an acceptable range. And all I did next was put on a label that had the date that I made the citric acid solution. So I hope you found this video helpful and useful. Please don't forget to subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. And please turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos that I upload. And please, please like this video as well because that really helps me out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.